Hello guys this video is presented by SM Therapy in this video I wanna going to tell you about Radian Vega Speed and how damn fast it is. Okay let's start. In a preview shown to journalists and analysts in December, AMD Play 2016 Sublime Doom on an early Radian Vega 10 graphics card with everything cranked to ultra at 4K resolution. Doom scales like a champ, but that's hell on any graphics card. Even the GTX 1080 can't hit a 60 frames per second average at those settings, per tech spot. Radian Vega, meanwhile, floated between 60 and 70 FPS. Sure, it was running Vulkan, a graphics API that favors Radian cards in Doom, rather than DirectX 11. But, hot damn, the demo was impressive. A couple of other sightings in recent weeks confirm Vega's speed. At the New Horizon live stream that introduced AMD's Ryzen CPU to the world, the company showed Star Wars Battlefront running on a PC that pairs Ryzen with Vega. The duo maxed out the 4K monitor's 60Hz speed with everything cranked to Ultra. The GTX 1080, on the other hand, hits just shy of 50 FPS, TechSpot's testing shows. Meanwhile, a sense-deleted leak in the ashes of the Singularity database in early December showed a GPU with the device ID 687F, C1 surpassing many GTX 1080s in benchmark results. Here's the twist, the device ID shown in the frame rate overlay during AMD's recent Vega preview with Doom confirmed that Vega 10 is indeed 687F, C1. These numbers come with all sorts of caveats, Vega 10 isn't in its final form, yet. We don't know whether the graphics card AMD teased is Vega's beefiest incarnation, all three of those benchmark games heavily favor Radian, etc. But all that said, Vega certainly looks competitive on the graphics performance front, partly because AMD designed Vega to work smarter, not just harder. Moving the right data at the right time, and working on it the right way, was a major goal for the team. According to Mike Manter, an AMD corporate fellow focused on graphics and parallel compute architecture, and a large part of that stems from tying graphics processing more closely with Vega's radical memory design. 